Hello there! So today we'll be taking a look at this box that arrived from China. So this is a mini PC that I ordered off of AliExpress. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So first of all, we'll open it up and here's the PC itself in some bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and take a look. So as you can see, it's a nice small factor PC with lots of LAN ports, an input for the DC 12 volts, and over on this side we have, I'm just going to guess it's like a serial port, VGA, USB 3 and USB 2, and a little power button over here. So we'll take a look inside of this um, to see the specs later. On the bottom, nothing really of interest, maybe a little label will go on here if it was like an OEM item, and I think these are going to be like mounts for like a VESA mount things, so you can put it on a display or something. So anyway, we'll put this on the side, let's look at the inside for other items. Got a power cable. I ordered the one for a US outlet, which should work for Japan as well. I just have to get a little converter because we don't have a ground connection in Japan. And this is the power brick. Oh yeah, it's nice and light. The brand is a Yan Ling. Looks like it's fading a little bit. And ooh, smells bad. Okay, this is not gonna work because it's a uh, AC 180 to 240 volts. So it doesn't support the 100 volt mains input that we get in Japan. And it outputs four amps at 12 volts DC. And yeah, I probably don't want to use this anyway because it, it's really light and I don't know what kind of quality this is. So anyway, and just a little bonus, I guess. Then we have a DVD-R, probably drivers. I'm not gonna trust this. And some screws and a base amount. Really light, probably, but yeah, it's not aluminum, it's probably steel, stainless steel or something. And that's about it. All right, next, let's go ahead and take a look inside this computer. So as you can see, there's four screws holding the bottom closed and I don't really see anything else. So I'm just gonna guess if I unscrew these four points, it should come right out. As you can see, these come with these long screws with a little bit of threading on the end and nothing on this side. That should allow us to look inside. All right, so I zoomed up a little bit closer. As you can see, this is the motherboard. I ordered it with a MSET SSD, I believe it was 32 gigabytes. And there's a space for a mini PCI card, like a Wi-Fi over here. And here you can plug in the RAM. I actually went ahead and bought four gigabytes of RAM that I'm gonna put in here. It supports DDR3, low voltage, uh, 1333, I believe. Oh yeah, by the way, the specs of this machine, it contains a Intel Atom E3845. It's a Bay Trail processor, two megabytes of cache, runs at 1.91 gigahertz, it has four cores and no hyperthreading, four threads with a TDP of 10 watts. So it's a fairly low power consuming machine. And one of the things that's really nice about this is that it supports AES-NI, uh, the encryption instructions. So what I really wanna do with this is to use it as a PFSense router. And the newer versions of PFSense requires that the CPU supports AES-NI, and that's why I ordered this particular computer. So taking a closer look at this machine, I noticed that Right over here, you can see there's a couple of holes that are plugged up by these plastic things. I believe this is where an antenna can be connected so that you can do a wireless connection with this. So basically it would work like a wireless router. And that's what I hope to do with this. So once I get a, a mini PCIe Wi-Fi card, I hope to put some antennas over on this side to use this as a wireless router. Aside from that, my guess is that the CPU is going to be probably like thermal grease directly onto this side, which is like a uh, heat sink. So um, this whole chassis itself is made of, I'm going to guess it's made of aluminum to act as a heat sink since this is a fanless unit. As you can see, there's some air vents on this side and air vents on this side as well. By the way, I ordered this unit with the 32 gigabyte MSAT SSD installed for a total of $199, it 
plus I think it was like $25 shipping with EMS or something, and it arrived in one week, actually less than one week, about six days since I ordered it, so it was pretty darn fast. Whoa, sh All right, so I found out by accident that you can actually look further into the chassis by removing this panel. Actually, I tried to pick it up but over here by this front panel, back panel part, and I noticed that it would just plop right out like this. So I think you can do the same to this side as well, like that. And you can see the underside of the computer like this. And right in there you can see the heat sink with some thermal compound mounted directly onto this metal plate down here, this huge heat spreader basically. I don't know if you can see in there, but right inside here you can actually see there's a few more connectors that are not populated and it appears like there's a SATA port in there as well. So if there was space for one, this could support a SATA drive as well. All right, so that's pretty much what I have for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And please be sure to click on that bell notification icon so you know when I've uploaded new videos. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.